Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we'll be focusing on writing a number sentence to solve. We will go ahead and solve word problems through a series of steps. First, read the question. Second, circle what you know. Third, underline what you need to find out. Fourth, fill in the number sentence. And five, solve. Let's not forget that a number sentence is an expression that uses numbers, either an addition or a subtraction sign, and an equal sign. We will read our word problems to see if we are adding or subtracting. Okay, let's go ahead and begin our first example. We will start by reading. There are nine dogs running in the park. Three dogs go home. How many dogs are still running in the park? Okay, very good. Second, we will circle what we already know. I know that how many dogs are running in the park? Nine. Nine dogs. Let's go ahead and circle that. How many dogs go home? Three. Three dogs. Now we're going to underline what we need to find out. That is our question. How many dogs are still running in the park? Okay, the fourth step is to fill in our number sentence. I have nine dogs running, so let's start with nine. That is what we started off with. We know that three went home, so they went away. Remember, when something goes away, we are subtracting. So let's subtract the three dogs that went home. So now I have nine minus three equals what? What is nine minus three? So in order to figure this out, I'm going to go ahead and hold a fist and say three and jump up until I get to nine. Then I will see how many fingers it took to get from three to nine. Ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many fingers did it take? Six. That means that nine minus three equals six. There are six dogs still running in the park. Very good. Okay, so here's example number two. Let's go ahead and start by reading it. Maria has seven shells. She loses two shells. How many shells does she have now? Okay, very good. Now let's do step number two where we circle what we already know. I know that Maria started with how many shells? Seven. Seven shells. How many did she lose? Two. Step three, underline what we need to find out. That is our question. How many shells does she have now? Okay, very good. Now that we have these steps completed, we are going to fill in our information in our number sentence. I know that Maria started with how many shells? Seven. How many did she lose? Two. Very good. So two went away. When something goes away, we subtract. Seven minus two equals what? Let's go ahead and hold a fist and say two. We will jump up until we say seven and see how many fingers it took to get from two to seven. Ready? Go ahead and do this with me. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven. How many fingers did it take to jump from two to seven? Five. That means that seven minus two equals five. She has five shells now. Very good. Okay, guys, so that ends our lesson for today on writing a number sentence to solve. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and found it very useful. Don't forget that writing a number sentence is a great strategy to use when solving a word problem. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye, guys!